G'day, Not Time here. JT Loves Dexter recently did a 10 question tag. Although she didn't tag me specifically, I was mentioned in her video and I was described as an evil, evil person. If you want to know why, click the um, link below for the jigsaw puzzle which I sent to her. <laughs> Although I didn't make the jigsaw puzzle, I thought she might enjoy it since she likes the occasional jigsaw puzzle challenge. Uh, it took me 16 hours to do, but that's with rest breaks and even I even went to bed. <laughs> I didn't work on it continuously, I just did bits and pieces here and did something else, bits and pieces there. Still, if I'd done it in one hit, it probably would have taken me five to six hours. There you go. So if you want to give it a try, link below. Anyhow, getting back to the reason for this video. <laughs> Ten questions, which I will uh, add to your um, reply list, JT. <laughs> what kind of car or vehicle do you drive? I don't actually own a car or a vehicle, never have. I do have a driver's license and I did use to be a taxi driver, which is why I have it. Other than that, it just is handed to hand from in case someone needs me to drive them somewhere. What are your favourite sort of clothes? Uh, comfortable clothes, things like tracksuit pants or sweatpants, depending on which part of the world you're in. Things like that, just nice and comfortable. T-shirts, just nice comfortable shirts such as this one. Three, were you to where would you visit if you had the chance? Everywhere. If I won cross lotto today or lotto today, I'd be traveling the world this time next week somewhere. And I'd probably stay out there for a couple of years before coming home permanently or semi-permanently. There's so much to see, so much to do, and I'd like to try much of it. If I had to choose one place, I think maybe the Amazon, Amazon forest, while it still exists. Question four. Cup half empty or cup half full? It depends on the day and my mood. Some people on YouTube would describe me as an optimist, some people would describe me as a pessimist, and they'll both be correct. That's what the half cup, half cup full, half cup empty is all about. Are you a pessimist or are you an optimist, depending on how you answer the question. And often it depends on the day and your mood. Where would you want to retire? See question number three. The world. Just retire, travel the world. If I had to choose one place, I guess. I like Adelaide, it suits me. <laughs> Not very imaginative, I know. What would you do what do you do in your spare time? Well, I'm on an invalid pension, so I have nothing but spare time on my hands. <laughs> um, sometimes I go to the Botanic Gardens for a bit of a walk around. Uh, I was there about a month ago, I think. Link below to my walk in the park, if you want to have a look. Where were you born? South Australia, here in Adelaide, or one of the suburbs. You don't, I don't need to get any more detail than that, I don't think. Um, yeah, I like it here, it's where I've grown up. I used to live in Melbourne for a little while, came back to Adelaide, because it's where most of my family and friends are anyhow. Da, 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 da. Where were you born? What's your favourite sport to watch? That's question number eight. I don't actually watch any sports. I'm of the mindset that if you want to to be involved with sports, you do it rather than watch it. As such, uh, I'm a scuba diver, for example. I prefer to do scuba diving 
than to watch it. That said, and thinking about it, I will watch most scuba diving movies or videos or documentaries simply because they will show places which I'm not likely to see in the near future. Question 9. Do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't. Nor do I believe in any other supernatural entity, being or deity. Did I say deity? Entity, being, deity, anything like that. So no unicorns, no pixies, no gods, no ghosts, no poltergeists, nothing supernatural. It just, to me, it doesn't make sense. Makes for, a good, makes for very good stories though, like you know, the Harry Potter series, if you like that sort of thing, or fantasy fiction. Yeah, I, li I like my fantasy fiction. I like my ghost stories, or more like my Dungeons and Dragon adventure stories, but I don't actually believe in them, that they exist. Do you buy any luxurious items that you later regret or enjoy? Um, define what's a luxurious item. For some people, a luxurious item could be a packet of Tim Tams. A luxurious item is something which, or a luxury item, is often described as something which you don't have very often, or that would, you wouldn't buy very often, such as a a sports car, for example, would be a luxurious item. Uh, have I? I can't think of anything specifically that I've bought that I've either that I've regretted. Um, although I have bought the occasional Tim Tam, <laughs> and I enjoy those immensely. <laughs> I should perhaps try to enjoy them less. <laughs> Anyhow, that's my 10 questions. Uh, the list is below in the armor bar. <coughs> Go check them out. That's where I check out my walk in the park video and that devious, diabolical um, jigsaw puzzle. Bye, JT. <laughs>